Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Jade, the DM for Dice Mansion, and we are here with another session of The Relenting with the marvellous, marv marvellous, Augur <laughs> Great, and Telissa, the mysterious. So guys, can you tell me where you are now and give a little bit of information of what just happened? We are still in Olvi, and we were ambushed right outside the tavern by eight drow archers, mm. and it wasn't fun. We all managed to kill pretty much all of them, but one who actually was kind of resilient in a sense. Evaded your attacks. <laughs> maybe we failed, maybe it was good, we'll never know. But he died, so that's something. But before dying, he actually said something about the Spider Queen, so I think you should know, maybe know more about it. No, we're I hearing actually, things. Actually, yes, he was kind of like tempting uh, me to, to join uh, their side, but I I kind of like resisted to it. And then we went back to the cupboard, trying to re actually recover ourselves, because we were basically in two battles all in one, so yes. So, you guys have just woken up from a great sleep, and you guys are now in, in the tavern. What is it that you're willing, wishing to do? So I wake up after a pleasant night. Yes, a very so, pleasant night for yeah. you, old girl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what are my surroundings? Um, your surroundings when you wake up um, is a rebel basically just wearing a nightshirt. And on the walls you're able to see lots of weaponry and lots of memorabilia from wars that she's been in and written notes of, kind of writs of, um, you know, her wars that she's mm -hmm. been in, basically. Well, good morning. Morning, Ogrog. How okay. are you? Um, I'm good. Yeah, that, yeah good. Um, what about you? Um, yeah, I'm feeling... <laughs> Quite tired, but oh. very good. Okay, I, I'm assuming it's for the battle and everything that went through, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, we'll, we'll say that, yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's fine, we can agree on that. That's that's okay, yeah. What about, shall we get some food? Uh, yeah, yeah, we should definitely get some breakfast. I need to uh, satiate my appetite. <laughs> okay. I thought it was satiated, but that's okay. Let's go for some food, alright. Okay, so yeah, she just chucks on like some like leather pants and some boots. Um, doesn't do anything else with her hair, so she's still a bit bedraggled, <laughs> and she's got bed hair. Um, but yeah, she's starting Loving. to walk down. That's fine. Yes. Probably. Let's go. Um, and <laughs> as as you're both walking down the stairs, you're able to hear. <laughs> okay, that guy in the corner, go silent. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> Quiet. So Revel uh, just dashes uh, behind the bar into uh, the kitchen and you're able to hear clashing of pans and whistling and the, the, you're able to hear that the chef is having a little sing-song. Mm, okay. And um, King Rolandus sort of comes up to you and is like, mm, I slept really, really badly. But I think someone was having a, a night terror or something because I kept on hearing banging and crashing and wailing oh. and moaning and it oh, must have been the uh, it must have been from the battle so I didn't sleep a wink. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I mean, I guess yeah, people 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 around here are weird, so I guess yeah, yeah that's probably what you heard. It probably I can imagine. Yes. Okay. So I have. I have something that I would like to talk to you about. If if you'd be willing to come come and sit at a table, I'd be willing to get your breakfast and everything. We'd be delighted to join you. Oh, thank you very much, Marv. Thank you. Okay. And I, okay. I kind of like take a seat on the same table, but like in a, on a side. And I'm going to know because mm. I'm curious, mm -hmm. but not because I I'm, I want to engage with them. Okay. So, tell me. Uh, what are your biggest dreams? I want to be the most famous bard in the world. Oh, isn't he cute? Get a job! <laughs> Get a real job! <laughs> oh, that's lovely, Marv. That's that's fantastic. And, and, and you, Ogorog? I I want to fight. I want money. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I want to be stronger, I guess. Okay, yeah, But sure. just fighting, really. Yeah. And, and Talissa? Well, I guess I just want to live a normal life, a very simple life. That's a very honourable, uh, 
wish, I, 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 I suppose, and he's sort of like fidgeting like a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what if I tell you that I can give you all of that and more? Ah, oh, no. Yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> Before we get into any of that, yes. I don't think, I mean, it sounds like you've had some <coughs> discussions with this guy earlier on, but we didn't quite get to meet each other, so I know you're a king, but yes. what's going on with you, really? What are you even doing down here? Oh, sure, so I'm King Rolandus the uh, Fourth. No, sorry, sorry, King Rolandus the Relenting, and I um, come from uh, the North East, and I come from the capital of Mamora, and I'm here because my father died. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. So... Uh, I, I wasn't supposed to be the king, um, but unfortunately my father passed in battle, and I'm now uh, in line to the succession of the throne. Uh, my father only had one uh, offspring, and I was hoping that they would uh, maybe absolve the crown before I had the chance to become king, but unfortunately that didn't happen. So now I'm having to take up my kingly duties, and part of my kingly duties was to go around with the church and to try and form relationships? I, in all honesty, I, I don't really know. I just kind of did what they told me. Um, okay, and where's the... like? The people that were following you, aside from the... I guess we found... I I had my discussions with some priests, but was that about it? Like, were uh, there yeah, many other? Yeah, um, they, they've got some priests and then my one of my guards just went missing. I haven't, I, I haven't been able to find him. Aren't you concerned about it or anything? Well, yes, of course, but I, I thought that maybe he died in, in the battle or, or, you know, they, they were chucking all these bodies in, in the swamp and I, I couldn't really account, account for anybody, really. I didn't know what was going on, so I think maybe he's just one of the lost. Okay. None of the bodies were checked before they were chucked. Uh, maybe they were still alive. <laughs> I certainly hope not. <laughs> yes. Um, so yeah, it's just the two priests who um, have decided that they want to stay here in Olvi. They don't want to come back um, to to the capital for some strange reason. They they just said that they would rather stay. Oh, well, why? Well, they said that they want to go um, further south and see what what's down there. Oh, good luck with that. There's nothing down there. It's just myths and legends. Well, I mean, you know, you try talking to them, but I'm not able to Oh, believe me, I've tried to talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> I talk to them quite a lot. Yes, <laughs> yes so I, I, there's something that I want to talk to you about. And like I said, I'm able to offer you lots of amazing things. I can offer you, Marv, some fantastic training in one of our great bard colleges and, and, and a spot, spot in one of our grand theatres and your name all over posters and uh, women, men, galore, um, whatever it is that, that you want. And Orgorog, you can be part of the King's Guard and take the battles to lots of wonderful missions and uh talissa we can give you a homestead in the middle of nowhere Ooh. yeah uh, yeah <laughs> you can try you can certainly but, try uh, <laughs> but money power women stuff yes why 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 do you want us to do anything i would like you? i would like to go home and i'm willing to pay you whatever it is that, that you're looking for or offer you things in in the capital but i i really need to go home i i want to go back to to janice town and i now the church is been dissolved i i don't really know what that means for the crown and, and for the north and i need to try and get home the church has been dissolved well i mean you killed most of the key members of the church hmm. what did you do uh well, there was a, there was an altercation, but I didn't think it that doesn't sound church. like an altercation. I'm sorry, but <laughs> there was confusion, and in the process, I may have killed the high priest. The high priest, yes. And I am the barbarian. I see. Yeah, but I'm a bad. But you have to understand, it wasn't on purpose. Oh. He's it was dead. kind of famous. He's dead. It was kind of on purpose. But what 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 were you doing? Um. Well, they were trying to kill the mayor, and 
it, yeah, it's a whole thing. What I are you, like a guard and assassin? No. And a priest and a guard and... Uh, well, Re ask Revel. Revel told me to go spy on the king and then it all went south really quickly. What does she have and she has such a, I don't know, power on you both? She wanted like... me, she was going to pay me good money and she oh. said it was a low risk mission, oh. kind of, and I did it really well. Well, yeah, yeah, I can see. It's yeah, so mission accomplished. I mean, you destroy I mean, the holy church. I dissolved, but... dissolved the whole church. That, that, that is, that is so. yeah, good stuff. <laughs> yeah. I guess, yeah. I, I, I could helps. actually commend yeah. that, but yeah, yeah. yeah. that the mayor helps. I can't but... see the body. Yeah. Don't put it on the mirror. Just yeah. stop it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. So um, that's. So you want to travel with the guy who destroyed your. Your church. Well, he he did tell me that they they were trying to to harm me, so I I was okay to to put my my life in in his hands, and he, he managed to save me and kept me here. So I, I in in all honesty, you know, I I owe you my life, Great Marv the Marvelous. Great Marv. Wow. It was what any any good person would do. Oh, oh surely. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's going to take two months, isn't it, to get you back there to Memora? Uh, yes. Mm. Two months. Yeah. I'm not very familiar with the northern lands. Are we expecting? How's the infrastructure? Is it is it rough? Is it? How was the how was the journey down here? Uh, poor. Poor. I mean, Good. Uh, because the further south we got, the, the kind of worse it got. It, the, it's it, they're kind of country folk and um, they there's lots of scary things down here but you know the further north you go the more they rec they recognize their king I but think, I mean I you you're new so they recognize their king but I'm not quite sure if they recognize you and such and you told me that your your coronation was two months ago so you didn't even stay in the city that you've just became king of oh but they, 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 they've known me since like since I was born I mean you're quite upfront with whatever you are and whatever you own as such as in titles, but aren't you too confident in actually going back and claiming the throne or actually ruling over people who barely oh, know I, you? I don't want to claim the throne. I want to disband the throne. And who's gonna rule? No one. It, it's what like what it used to be. When the unbound territories had had no king, it, it's much better that way. How do you know? I mean, how old can you be? Like, how old are you? <laughs> oh, well, I'm twenty-two. Uh... I'm sorry, but what do you know about the world? <laughs> well, I've I've read all I've read all the books of what it used to oh, be like. Oh, you read the books, kings. right? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. you fought many battles along with that, I assume. Well, no, I. The whole point is, I don't want to be fighting any battles. I don't want. Like, I mean, the Southwest has no leader, and it's doing absolutely fine. Oh yeah, we've seen, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, you know, Revel isn't an appointed leader, and she takes care of this town very well. But it's just probably one exception, other than a rule, don't you think? Yeah, but who am I? I can't lead. You are the entire... king. <laughs> you are the king. Who are you? You are the king. I can't lead an entire group of people. This this madness. I'm just. I'm a stargazer. That's what I do for a you living. You look at stars. I, I map stars. Like, look, you know, hands up. I didn't think that this whole kingly business was going to be a business. You know, <laughs> my father died at literally, like, early 50s. It's not... He should have lived many, many years. I was going to run away with my, with my future wife and let him deal with whatever was going to happen. Unfortunately, he died. And now I'm kind of stuck in a bit of a pickle. I, I wouldn't just... call it a bit of a pickle, to be honest. It sounds, it sounds quite more tragic than that. Also, oh, I yes. hope the future wife wasn't the now deceased. No, no, absolutely not. No, oh. no. Uh, Lady Karina is the love of my life, and oh. we met in um, we met in in Janistown in 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 college, and she is an alchemist, and we were hoping to have a large family and move to uh, somewhere else. So, what are you going to do with the dead body down? The basement. Oh, Lady Nocta. I guess she's still there, right? Um, yes. I. I mean, I, I. don't. I don't really know. I suppose we will all deal with her. Throw. Throw her. You don't even care about. Throw her in the swamp. Uh, yes. I mean, that's what they did with the rest of these. Yeah, bodies. but I mean. All right. I mean, that's your stuff. And you can 
guarantee that you can give us these incentives that you've hmm. promised. So he digs around into his bag and he pulls up a solid golden tray and says, I, I have this tray. It's worth a lot of money. Um, this is one of the many gifts to come. May I? Of course. Mar 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 it's for, for saving my life. Okay. Thank you. Can I inspect it to see if it's real? Absolutely. Roll in sight. <laughs> <laughs> 15 It's solid gold It's solid gold it's, I mean it's probably quite weighty Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can tell from your limited knowledge on gold um, As you are a bard you do have a little bit more knowledge on gold and coins This is worth anything between 600 to 1000 gold hmm. Oof. So what is it you have there? Um, oh it's just a uh, it's just a harmless trinket. He's he's offering it as a sign of goodwill. A harmless trinket. Yes. It looks fancier than that. It's it's painted gold. Can Should we just be honest all together? Uh, roll or? deception and roll insight, please. <laughs> Twelve. Seventeen. Well, I mean, do you believe him? Shall we start being honest? If we have to come over to the venture, like, I, are you gonna be honest? I are, are you coming? What is that? It's a solid gold tray. And why were you hiding it? Well, I, I, just, I really just met you. I don't. We are supposed to go on an you, adventure you, you, together. I've you're, you're scary. You could just kill me and take this. I don't know you. I don't know you either. Well, but I mean, on what are places are we going? On? Well, uh, well, I, I can't trust you. I just met you. And you are hiding. I'm not hiding. It's right there. Yeah, but you're hiding the actual value. If you believe my really bad lie, then that would have been on you. King, what have you have for us? Is it just for this guy? Uh, no, no, this this was supposed to be for the three of you. Oh, for the oh. three of us, was it? Oh, well, well, here you go, Felissa. There you are. A sign what of goodwill. What am I supposed to do with that? Well, that, that is worth at least 600 gold. So 600? And you were... Give or take. Maybe a thousand? Yes, well, you can... You That's definitely going to be worth a lot of money in the capital. In um, the capital? Uh -huh. So that's not worth anything until we get you there. Well, I mean, I don't know if any of these... But do you reckon are... Revel can cash out a, a, a thousand gold? <laughs> Maybe, we can ask. <laughs> Revel! <laughs> Revel! She sort of pops her head round. Marv? Hello. Do you know anything about the valuation of gold products? We have here a, a solid gold tray, and okay. we were wondering, would you like to buy it from us? Um... Can you roll persuasion, please? Sure. <laughs> Fifteen. Um, well, I mean, you know, with some, some trinkets for my bear are always nice. How much is it? Uh, well, I mean, we'll, st we'll start the bid at... Thousand, um, a thousand, thousand pounds. Thousand gold. <laughs> a thousand pounds. <laughs> if, excuse me? Thousand, thousand gold. gold. Mm, roll persuasion, please. Cleanse <laughs> <laughs> Let me wow. play more games on the tavern. <laughs> I'm selling you the tavern. <laughs> what about that? <laughs> um, hmm, I'll take it for eight hundred. Really? Eight fifty. Hmm. Come on, and then it, it just like not. <laughs> Can I? Is the king still with us, by the way? Just looking aghast <laughs> that we're just getting the money straight away. <laughs> we don't need you. I can probably make this into a fine dagger. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Eight fifty. Perfect. <laughs> so I turn around to the king and I say, "So we may have just kind of sold this financial incentive. So sorry about that. Um, what else can you offer us for taking you all up?" Um, what, what I just said, you know, you can have anything you like in the capital. It's not my fault, you just... Have we just made, made 850 gold? Yes. yes. Okay, we will, we will take... That was an extremely generous gift, and we thank you. So, given that you were just willing to hand something like that over to us, it's only fair well, that I'm I... very rich. 
I can see that. Uh, so <laughs> I am, I for my part, I am willing to escort you back to your home city. Oh, thank you, Come what may. It would, you know, I, I, these two are fantastic warriors, but I feel that it would be a real shame. I'm not a warrior. Mar marvelous <laughs> was not there. Sorry, my lady. The the woman who craves a simple life. <laughs> Well, <laughs> the feeling is mutual, and I look forward to a very prosperous and happy career with you. Oh, fantastic. Uh, I, I'm going to be honest, I, that is a lot of money. Like, a lot of money. So, okay, I guess. Okay. But fantastic. just do, but I do not really believe that you can do much in that capital. I just want to be sure that we got you there safe because. There's something in it, apparently. Well, yes, I mean, you know, I have I have a lot of friends in, in Janice uh, town and in Callanport that we will obviously have to go through to get to the um, to get to the capital. So um, I can ask the people there to to help me. They are historians and scholars and warriors and are people that have led before, so they might be able to help me um, to at least get some form of leadership, maybe even introduce a council or something that might But be you better. don't want to get involved at all. Oh, Are you sure about that? I want to get You to could be the most powerful person in this kingdom. kingdom uh, Roll persuasion, please. It's up to Talissa what she wants to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're going to talk about that. 17. 17, okay. I can't say that I'm particularly interested in, in power as such, but the power to to map the stars, the, the the riches to be able to build my palace in newer ways to make history and and scholarly things. I mean, you know, my father was of the old ways of battling and hardiness. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, and things like that. And it's that's just that, not how. That's what makes a ruler power fighting. Well, to you. Yeah. But right. you you you're an orc. That's that's your Ooh. that's your caliber of leadership. I am not gonna step in there. What about that? Money? <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, that? Money? One sec. We'll be right back after these calculations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna keep three hundred, and I'm gonna give you two two seventy five to you both. I'm not that good at bats, but, <laughs> <laughs> but she, I'm gonna say it's fine. That's you know what? Fine. I'm gonna take it. Yeah. <laughs> so Revel comes out um, and you both notice she's looking a little bit bedraggled and a uh, little kind of, she seems to be bouncing but half limping at the same time mm. um, over to you with kind of plates of bacon and eggs and freshly baked rolls and kind of leaves and fruits and juices. I didn't room. say that I'm, I wanna travel with them yet. I didn't say yes. Of course, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm still like kind of like very on my on my uh, my business, but I do eat whatever she she brought to us. So um, as sort of everything, um, <laughs> fresh produce. <laughs> the key to Talissa's heart is her stomach. Absolutely. <laughs> the little so rose. That, that, yeah, it's the last thing that makes me feel something. Yes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, as soon as Revel sits down um, at the table, the king goes, "Oh, Revel! Yes, we were just talking about um something amazing. I I've heard about your a uh, tavern for miles. Actually, we've heard about it in in Memora." And she said. Really? I'm just a. I, this is just a, a simple tavern. It's you know, it's nothing famous. And she's kind of blushing a little bit. She seems very proud um, of of that fact. And and the king is like, yes, yeah, no, abs absolutely. And I actually, I, I wanted to know if you might want to open a, a tavern uh, in Memora. She's like, and just stands up from her chair walks into the kitchen and you just hear <laughs> comes back sits down so a, a tavern in memora you say <laughs> um please um what 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 do you need um and king Rada says well i i'd love you to uh, escort these fine um people and me to to the capital she's like hmm Mm, it's an awful long way 
I mean, two months of my time is quite a long time. And who's gonna who's gonna look after the who's gonna look after the village? Who's gonna look after the tavern? I who's gonna look after my chef? I mean, you know, we're 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 a duo. You know, we don't go anywhere not together. And um, King Landis is like, well, bring the chef, bring the chef then. And this chef sort of like pokes his head out. Is like me. Yeah. Me? You're talking about me? And he kind of like walks out, like kind of dusts off the flower. Mm. He's like, the lady. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, are you, you, you're, you're talking about me? Is, is everything okay? I haven't bur burnt your food or, or anything like that? And I was like, you know, calm down. Calm down, Handel. Everything's fine. You know, come, come sit down. We've got, I've got a proposition for you. They all talk it through. Everything's great and dandy. And Hendel was like, oh, who's, who's gonna, who's gonna deal with Marcus? I mean, you know, the, the other chef that worked here, who was, you know, um, cooking, cooking for the king. Um, and Revel's like, oh, you know, you know what he's like, he'll, he'll, he'll be fine. In fact, you know, that if there's anybody that I trust the tavern to, it would probably be him. Um, um so you're happy to pay for my my bar and, and my lodgings and and you know um help me get set up in memora it's like yes yes absolutely absolutely i just i need as many people um as possible um to come and make sure that this this is a success and i think that everybody will love um something like the crocodile up in up in the northeast and she's like oh, yeah okay yeah sure i mean i i'll uh, uh um i guess i will make some arrangements and she kind of just like you know skips away and as she does so she kind of like leans over and gives you a little kiss on the top of the head oh, oh. i see <laughs> what's going on good for you man sorry okay. <laughs> all right <laughs> know your face that's what i'm gonna say <laughs> down little man <laughs> Hendel kind of bends in front of you and says, oh, I've been making some new um, some new cakes. I'd love you to um, to try my lady. Um, let me know what uh, what what it is that you like. And it's kind of like like a little lemon drizzle cake. So it's like a white sponge with kind of like a white icing on top. And as you bite into it, it's like oozing this like gooey, like oh. sweet but sour like citrus centre. Thank you. You're welcome. What about us? I'm afraid you're not a beautiful lady. <laughs> he certainly isn't. <laughs> Sorry. I, d I don't think an orc like you would want such petite cakes. I mean, I can probably get you a, a, a steak or something similar. Maybe. So, um, uh, yes, yes. Um, what, how are you feeling about that? I think I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. Sure. And I just walk upstairs with a cake. Okay, I'm not gonna leave the cake to anyone. <laughs> do, do you know more about her? Uh, I've only seen her fight, but she was good. But what to listen? Yeah, I mean, I don't. I mean, she 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 landed in Orvi on a dragon. Um, on a dragon. On, on a dragon. I, I'm pretty sure I'm not making that up. She, you she, sure? I mean, it, you seem like the it, kind of it, person who would make things up. No, I'm sorry, but I'm, I might. Hey, I might embellish things professionally. <laughs> but come on, I saw a dragon land in the high street. That's a very outlandish thing. And she is obviously the very outlandish. The high street! The high street of yeah. a little small town. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's got, it's a classy village. <laughs> in the middle of the swamp. It's got, Sophisticated it's, establishment. It's got a shopping centre, uh -huh. it has a parking area oh, for beautiful. dragons. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so she's, uh, she's obviously very interesting. I mean, I saw a lot of fire and a lot of spells in the battle earlier, but I mean, how was the battle for you? Did you... Uh, yeah. Kill lots of uh, st lots of them single handedly. It worked. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I did my thing. Yeah. What about you? How uh, did you end up yeah, down fine. up there? It's, it's fine. I just made them terrified of their worst nightmares, and they just went skipping away. It's all all good. All good on my side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of, um, Talissa, as you're going in into the bathroom, can you make a Constitution saving throw? Yeah. But I'm please. actually going to the bathroom. Uh -huh. I told them that I was going mm -hmm. to the bathroom, yeah. but I wanna go. To my room. Okay. Uh, you guys have bathroom in your room? <laughs> <laughs> twenty, not natural, but twenty. Okay. Um, it's not natural. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you pooping? <laughs> 
we need to go with this piece, I guess. Okay, so you're, fe- you're feeling like this kind of fog kind of try to like reach up to your body, but you, see, you, get, you feel a burning in your shoulder and it kind of pushes the feeling back down into the floor and you're fine. Okay, so speaking of, of, of which, I go into the, bar, into the room, I literally, with the cake on my hand, I close the door, I take a second, touch the door, and then I, I, I put the little cake on the top of the, of, of, of the bed, and I take a seat on the floor, crossing my legs, and I touch my shoulder, and I'm like, what do you want me to do? And I'm just like, waiting for, for a sign, because I'm not really sure about this, this journey, crazy journey with these people I I'm, have no idea about and I usually connect with him uh, mm-hmm. using using whatever it is that he needs to discover <laughs> and I'm like suddenly you hear a scratching noise a scratching noise and I'm kind of like hmm, what does this mean Yes, is it a noise? Is it a maybe? Is it? Do you have to go somewhere else? You brought me here, literally. I I came to this nowhere town because of the messages you were giving me. I felt so. <laughs> <laughs> because of all the messages you were giving me. So what do you want me to do? What's the reason behind all of these? You continue to hear scratching. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for it and let's see what happens. But then don't come up in the middle of the night saying that I have to go somewhere else, okay? You still get scratching. Oh, okay. Thanks. And I just take back my my cake and I go back. Can you roll perception, please? Yes. Six. You can't see anything. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of like a little bit disappointed. Mm-hmm. You still hear scratching, but it, as it as it it does it sound like it seems to be following you. Oh, mm. um, so I, I I just sort of look around. Is it uh, like anything? Does it sound like a normal scratching or like a magical um, sound? Or... Roll investigation. Okay, twelve. Okay, so you you see that it it appears like there has been a knife carved down the side of the stairs where you are with an arrow pointing back to your room okay with the cake on my hand <laughs> <laughs> the very important cake <laughs> I, I literally I literally turn myself pointy the the feet on like why one day normal life one single day of my life and I'm kind of like, fine, and I go back, mm-hmm. following the following the arrow, and I open the door, and I'm like, whoa! So on the side of the wall, which appears to be wood, there is a message that has been carved into the wood. But was it was it? What I mean while I was there, or that was what I the scratching noise was? was oh my god! <laughs> What does the, what does the message say? Um, so it's written in um, in Infernal. I can read that. <laughs> and it says it says follow the lights. Uh, this is really not you. Like follow the lights. Uh, I guess that's what I'm gonna do. And I bite my cake. <laughs> Okay, so as you bite into the cake, again, <laughs> um, you start to feel really woozy and kind of sick. <laughs> and you see inside the cake is like a shining light, but when you're looking into it, it's almost blinding. Mm. Can I can I use the tech magic to see if I can understand which can what source of, of light is? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So you can detect a fiendish magic. Oh, okay. You know, 
You literally took everything from me, at least food. Leave me that, please. <laughs> just okay, but you could have just answered to the question I've done, I've made, without doing all of this fussy carving thing. So the are you an artist now <laughs> or what? So, so the flames that are in the room start to like flicker into like big lights. And as you sort of like look into them, you're having to kind of shield your eyes because they are blinding. Could, could we hear her ranting monologue from downstairs, by the way? Ah, uh, both of your roll perception. 13, mm -hmm. 17. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, is she normal, do you reckon? Uh, I mean, she's not normal, normal, but kind of normal. She's definitely not normal, but maybe we should go check on her. All right. Well, I can go on my own if it's no, such I mean, a big inconvenience to you. I mean, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> so, Upstairs. So before they come, I just say, okay, I'm gonna follow the light. So I guess you are gonna give me more, like, messages meanwhile I'm doing this crazy trip, right? And everything sort of fades. And you see that the the carving sort of almost go in reverse and turning back into just a plain wall. So, like, starting from the backwards, it's like... <laughs> typical, typical you, typical you. And, and the I light find... in the cake has disappeared. And I, I, I buy another. <laughs> mm, and I'm literally standing in the middle of the room. <laughs> <laughs> and I just sort of poke my head round the corner. Um, Slyssa, are you, you good? You, you okay there with your little cake? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Should we go finish up business? Uh, yeah. You're right, you seem a bit pale. I mean, I'm usually pale. <laughs> <laughs> we, we heard quite a huge fuss and noise. What, what's going on? Well, I did hear something last night. Well, I'm not complaining about you, but... I, mean, I don't know what you do in the bathroom, but that's all right. <laughs> 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 well, I knew, really. And again, I am the orc. <laughs> okay. I'm just eating my cake. In the bathroom. <laughs> do you do this? Does this look like a bathroom to you? I don't know. We don't know where that cake's going at this point. <laughs> After eating all of that, I don't know. It could be anything. But... That's fine. We, we heard shouting. No, no, that doesn't Well, mean. loud raised voice. It wasn't you. No. No, plenty no. of people in the bathroom. Can you roll deception, please? And both of you roll inside. 19. Um, so you believe that it wasn't her, you are kind of mm, teetering on the edge. Hmm. Let's just, um, we'll come and join us when you're ready, when you finish I, the cake. I can come, no, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish the cake downstairs. It's a big cake. <laughs> you gonna finish it all now, or? <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't asking for any, that's it. Well, I wonder what are the properties of that cake to make you make that noise, but... <laughs> <laughs> this is just, your sweet that the, the chef made this cake to me and you're making so many stories up. Just I leave me alone. Okay. Okay. You could have shared a bit, but <laughs> that, look, that, that fair, looks nice. It's only about this big. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't have a little, I have a little mouth. Yeah, you eat a little bit. Oh, by the way, when um, we do know, by the way, that we got 850 gold for that tray, right? Because mm -hmm. of the transaction. So we do know we took a little bit less than... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I don't think... I mean, I was the one who was you, you, doing the concession, so I think, yeah. you know, 15 You got your cut. You right. got your cut, yeah. <laughs> you, you handled you did, the you cash. It's actually sense. only 25 gold more, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, no, just, 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 just a little bit. So Revel comes comes out and she's, like, covered in, in uh, like, ash. And she's like, oh, look at this. And you see it's like a kind of swirled, um, like, pure gold dagger that she has melted down and made into this kind of dagger and she's like see what's really cool about this is that because it's serrated when i stab it in i can kind of like <laughs> that sort of is it. amazing <laughs> i know right it's just <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> That is beautiful. <laughs> if you got another tray, I'll make I'll make you one. If, if there's another tray. I mean, I don't have disposable Maybe. eight hundred gold to be <laughs> And by the way, where did you get that? I mean, I don't want to do to mind your own business, but that was a lot of money. I 
have a, quite a wealth of savings because the um, we're the only tavern down in, in this area and we get a lot of people come to stay and um, yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> take it back. I don't want to take even the dagger. But oh, yeah. Of course, yeah. Did you see that dagger? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It, yeah, like you could like dismember anything with <laughs> you, that. You could do a lot with that serrated. Like, can you imagine that blowing through a body? That would be amazing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like the be... blood coming out of it. Oh, gorgeous, yeah. bloody gorgeous. <laughs> it would be so clean. Clean, clean, but not so clean cut. I guess it's serrated. So it would be like, yeah, like a, just like yeah, like a saw. Crunch through oh. bones. <laughs> I can already taste it, like going through, ah, oh, yes. Yeah, yes. You don't understand, do you? I am being. I can she's appreciate like, a good bit of gold. And, and she's like, <laughs> even if it's... Orgorog, if you are really interested, one of me. Okay, so pause on you guys for a minute. Yeah. So, you go into, um, go round the back of the um, the tavern and kind of, um, she beckons you like down some stairs, like behind behind the tavern. Um, she's like, yeah, come here. I've got something really cool to show you. Mm, okay. Okay. So she you, she kind of like pushes open um, these kind of two um, doors, and there is a circle of lots of different training dummies, and kind of like a small forge, and kind of bits of like armor and weapons. And she says, yes, this is where I make everything that I need. Um, and she's <laughs> like, hey, do you want to try on one of the test dummies? Well, of course I want. <laughs> and then you just go about bashing the dummy with whatever she gave me. Okay, so it's 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 with the dagger. Okay, so just go like. Okay, so if you want to roll to hit. It's eleven. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you just managed to get it in. Okay. Oh yes, this fits fit nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> She's like, we get it about a little bit. Honestly, it gives you some room, and it cut and it, the it's kind of um slightly kind of serrated wood on the outside okay. but like a material kind of meshy thing on the inside oh, and you see okay. it's just cutting through this kind of fabric and it's just going side to side to side this is fine craftsmanship you are very talented that's the only thank thing you. i can say thank you very much good job okay. would you happen to have anything to borrow really my apps is good but i could do with an upgrade I don't know if you have anything really. Um, I probably don't have an upgrade on the axe, but I can probably make it better. Okay. She's like, have you ever done any forging before? No, I'm not that crafty, to be honest. I tend to, as I told you, like to get whatever I want from other people. But uh, yeah, so I guess you're, doing, I could... you're doing the same to me right now, right? No, I'm not killing you. So. I mean, I we are having a transactional discussion. That is unheard of. Uh, so that's tran good. Transactional, so what am I going to get out of this? I mean, I could pay you with the money you've already given us. <laughs> <laughs> I could pay you back. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Okay. It's okay. And she's like, honestly, give it a try. And she sort of throws you over like a kind of like a stone with kind of a, 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 a small edge. Okay. She kind of puts the axe down. And she's like, right, I'll show you how to do it. And she kind of like pushes like her pan like on the stone okay. and like across the blade. And she's like, right, this. This will sharpen it up um, completely. So, okay. She, and she, she, go at it. So, if you want to roll a sleight of hand for me, plus if you have any proficiencies with smithing, I, I doubt you do. No, I don't have it. Uh, it's ten. Okay, so yeah, you 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 do a, a, a pretty decent job. It's okay. I mean, it's not as good as Revel, who like has really sharpened it. Um, and you and and you see, she sort of like like puts it down the side and you see a little, like, little tiny bit of skin has like come off oh, the end wow. of her thumb. She's like, this side is going to be super sharp. But the way that you've kind of done it is made it slightly rough. Mm -hmm. So you feel like it's going to give you like that extra bit of like hitting damage. Okay. So like one side is going to be really good for just slashing and the other one has kind of got almost like a blunter edge mm. to hit someone with. And she kind of gets um she kind of gets her belt and she rips it off and she kind of flicks off the um the belt buckle. She's like, okay. And she wraps around her the belt onto the hilt of the weapon. And she kind of like starts burning the ends and is like, okay, there you go. This should be more comfortable for you now. I do, thank you. And it's the first time ever that I'm getting a free upgrade 
from somebody who's still living, so that's something. Thank you. <laughs> I know, new experiences, or girl. <laughs> but I am definitely going to want something for it. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it later, don't worry. Okay. In the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so going back to you guys. Can I see the chef? Uh, yes, if you want I to. I mean, yeah. is, he, is he, like, can I actually see him from where I'm now? Um, well, you probably have to get up and peek your head around. Okay, so without, I don't want him to see me, uh, but I literally like, go around the corner and I want to use minor illusion and um, place a little flower on the on, on, on the surface where he's working. Okay. Um, and in the moment it will it will touch the flower because it's an illusion. Um, that illusion will I want to make like a little butterfly out of that flower that goes around him and then disappear. Aww. Okay, first of all, roll stealth, please. Okay. <laughs> Four. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, basically to do that, you'd probably need to do two minor illusions because okay. obviously it's turning into something else. Yes. But yeah, you're more than welcome to do it. Okay. But he spots you doing it out of the corner of his Okay, body. and in the moment, and he, we... and, he, and he sort of like looks at you and he's like, my lady. And then I am <laughs> <laughs> like, and then I will walk back. I think it's and he's he's like he's blushing. Oh, <laughs> <cute. laughs> we've got two romances on the game. <laughs> Not for me. It's just that I want more. I want more cakes. <laughs> you just want more That's cakes. the literally just That's the way. You you know. <laughs> so not only did um, could you roll perception for me, please? Mm, yeah, sure can. Twelve. Okay. And not only is the chef able to see you do it, Marv was also able to see you cast okay. a spell. He didn't see what you'd cast, but he's seen you cast a spell. Okay. So at this point, uh, we're really painting a picture that she's acting very suspiciously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm constantly suspicious of everything she's done this morning. <laughs> what are you going to do, Marv, if anything? Um, I'm just going to add it to the memory bank and I'm going <laughs> to act on it right now. <laughs> kind of like... Okay. okay. So, an eye on that. so the king um, is basically like, oh, so you're 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 Elven. Um, have you ever been to Selenor? No, I don't think I have. Oh well, it's where the it's where the brightest and most amazing stars can be seen from. And we, well, I really desperately wanted to go there, but you know, um, the the head priest said that we weren't allowed to go there, unfortunately. But um, it would be really cool. Is it on the way to Memora? Uh, it could be. Uh, now be honest, is it a diversion? Um, okay, roll insight. <laughs> 13. I'm trying to figure it out where, where all the, the series is just so... <laughs> I know, there's so many. <laughs> um, he's telling the truth. So it's not a diversion, okay. Well, I don't see any reason why we can't stop there. If the night sky is so beautiful, I'm sure we can stop momentarily to do that. Yes, I can imagine you'd be able to make lots of wonderful songs out of it. Oh, the there will the be sky. so much quality music on the on this trip. We're... Would you write a song about me? What would you like it to be about? Um, uh, I, I don't mind. Do you want it to celebrate your kingly values, your non-kingly values, maybe your love of the stars? What about the stars? My love of, of, of the stars. You seem to like how, stars. How it shines like the my beloved's eyes. Mm, you're a romantic at heart. <clears throat> yes, I would suppose. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay. I will put something together um, for you during this trip. And um, But before we do any of that, uh, I'd like to ask you a very, very important question. As King, to search back all of your memories, is there anyone who would want you dead on this journey? Because, let's be honest, those 25 orcs invaded this village to off you. So, who else knows about that? you? I'm there, right? So I can... That yeah, can be, can be, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I mean, I we could probably backtrack through most of the towns that uh, we've been to already. Um, Is that wise? Given that someone's clearly trying to kill you, and if we use the same route twice, they'll know where you're going to go. Um... Well, I suppose you're right. Maybe we should go different ways. Well, we'll study a, a map. We'll, we'll pick a route because I feel I feel like 25 orcs invading a village just to come and get one man is... 
I, I just fear for your safety is all. Okay. And we want to get you there in one piece, don't we? Yes, absolutely. So I will write you that song and uh, we will set off when you're ready. Okay, so um, Revel is just sort of like going to leave the, the place. But she says, you know, feel free to have a look at any, any of the armors or, or anything. And um, and I'm just going to go back and start packing now. Okay, I just have a look around. Mm -hmm. Are you guys going to see anything particular? Uh, roll investigation. Okay. Oh yeah, so yeah, you're able to see like lots of little bits of armor. Nothing uh, fully formed, but things that you could probably add over the top of what you have, like underclothes and kind of hilts of weapons, but nothing that's been fully forged together yet. Okay. I don't quite feel about. No, I'm not gonna feel anything. I'm just gonna go up and go back to the table. Okay. Okay. So. So what are we doing here? I, I got I got to know how to sharpen a blade instead of stealing wow. it. Instead of that's that's yeah, that's yeah right. Yeah, you. I mean, yeah, thank you. Well and done. I tried the dagger, and it's actually good. It, it's that good. Is very good. You're gonna do. If I were to use it on you, you would be like instant dead. Can you imagine instant dead? Oh, I totally can imagine. That'd be amazing. Yeah, it's brutal. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not imagine. The it gore. Much like longer, gore. But... Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. What about you? What have you done? Um, I've had a nice productive conversation with the king, I'm going to write him a song about his love of the stars and we're going to go as soon as he's ready, honestly. Okay. Yep. So are you coming along with me? <laughs> I think so. Okay, 50-50. Yeah, I mean, if I get bored then I will just leave. I'm going to come with you for a while, I think. Well, the chef is coming with us, so, I mean, mm. it, infinite cake. Yeah, but you know. If you can yeah. procure the ingredients. Let's for see, him. because you know, I, I kind of like to leave the day. Mm. So if I will get bored. So if you get bored one month in, you can always turn back. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see. I don't really, I don't really decide that much of, of my life. So. What, what do you mean by that? You know, I receive weird dreams, and then then I, you know, there are voices or actually, but you know. It's... Was the dragon planned? Or was that just you living? I, I literally met her. There were two women. She was actually a woman with a dragon, you know. Uh, okay. Yeah, and everything yeah. is normal in your terms, yes. right? <laughs> yes. All of this, like, these stories <laughs> Not are to normal. Me. Right. I don't know them. When did this happen? Uh, like Last? two days ago. So when was it in the day? In night? Day? Yeah, I met them in the night, and then we had kind of like a fight with, with... You met a woman dragon in the night, in the middle of the swamp, and then you had a fight. <laughs> Look, I'm not even asking you any more thing about that orc... 25 orcs coming and you are an orc. You know, things happen in life. I didn't, I didn't know them. They were they offered me food and they kind of like helped me out, and then they just... They lift, give me a lift. Well, your, yeah. your story... Definitely checks out. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? Makes yeah, so much sense absolutely. to me. <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not asking anything about you. Like it's my business, and I think it should. Be. Of course. I was just curious yeah. that you yeah. could do. And you can do anything with it. Just harmless questions. We just want to know more about our traveling mate. Oh, uh, okay. No, yeah. So I guess I think I'm gonna come with you, and then in case, I, you know, if it's gonna, if I'm not gonna like it, I'm just gonna leave. But no offense. I mean, it's not towards me, but maybe the king, like the actual king. I mean, I got paid. I'm gonna probably leave with three. I mean, three hundred goals. I'm gonna. They're gonna last forever to me. So it's okay. King, is that? No, I mean, I guess you have already. You know, I'm. I'm gonna come, but then I forget bored. I'm just gonna. Okay, well, I mean, you know, a, a simple life probably awaits you more in the capital than, than down in these swamps. Ooh. I've never been there, so I, I don't know. I can, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna come along. I'm not saying no. Maybe I will like it. Uh, yeah, if people don't ask stupid questions to me, then yes, it's fine. <laughs> Read. <laughs> Read. Oh! <laughs> yeah. And a new fellowship was born. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Revel comes down the stairs with kind of like a, a quite a, a large satchel, and she has her hair like tied up um, around the back, and she's now wearing like an all kind of leather uh, armor kind of thing with little bits of kind of frills coming out. Um, and it's like, 
Okay, I'm gonna tend to the horses and the carriages, and shall we meet in about an hour? Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. See you there. See you there. What are we gonna do? I'll start writing a draft, a draft song. I'll just sit on the steps of the tavern for a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for a beer. Nice. Okay. What time is it now? Uh, probably about mm, like 2 p.m. Okay. It's too late to meet any dragon ladies in the swamp. I kind of ignore him and I go upstairs. <laughs> okay. I close the door. Yeah. And I take my little bottle and I I uh, <laughs> use that um, the red liquid on on the shoulder. I okay. like massage it and, mm. and just try to relax a little bit, and then I start to pack the few things that I have, and I go back downstairs. Apparently.